and welcome to FS Stack channel. Friends, today I'll bring you a new video with a f uh, title of fully formulated NY statement. <coughs> how can we make and how can we prepare NYs that will show uh, the deduction of tax, total amount of tax, and uh, shows that how many days are remaining, if the invoice is paid, what will be the tax appear over here, if it's uh, expa if, if the days are over on invoice uh, with regard to the days uh, ultimatum, we, the deadline or the due days we have mentioned, so if the days passed, what the tax will be appear, if it's remaining, the, uh, what text will be a pair. So um, we will all do that and create and formulate it in Vice. Okay, so before wasting time, let's do it. Come to the new sheet where we have all the data of this sheet just we what we want to do is just to put the formulas over here in order to make it formulated first of all this cell contains the data the the amount that is from previous uh, previous invoice statement the statement uh, where the 12000 amount remains to be paid so we we obtain the text that make it sure this amount is not belongs to this statement but this is the amount of the, this is the part of this statement right now but it belongs from the previous mm, invoice statement uh, here we are putting the formula of sum in order to make to bring the total of credit amount of some formula you're familiar with the sum formula just by doing like this and closing the bracket and same is the case with the new charges is equal to some formula all new charges bracket close and then total total should say is equal to this amount plus 12 previous balance of 12,000 minus the credit amount this is the total amount now comes towards here we have also uh, each invoice contain uh, uh, each invoice uh, have to uh, we have to pay uh, four percent of tax on each each invoice so how to calculate this just by putting over here to uh, get the total tax we have to put that is equal to this total amount asterisk which shows the multiply sign and uh, then selecting the four percent cell and then enter now the amount which uh, which is uh, about we have to pay on this uh, these all invoices amount is 1449.7 now what will be the net receivable amount is equal to this amount minus this total tax amount enter now the tax is deducted and this is a net receivable amount now we need a formula over here in order to have the total amount of uh, with the addition of uh, this invoice and this amount and deduction of this and what will be the amount that shows in here is equal to this amount plus 12,000 okay and then minus what minus this enter now it's okay just drag him down but do one thing more in order to not repeat the cell number six this 12,000 if you drag him down uh, there will it, it will change the cell number so if you want to freeze it just press F4 in order to make it freeze that will not uh, change its cell number if you drag it down now we are dragging it down and just choosing fill with out formatting now one thing more we have we need one more formula over here that shows how many days are left that to amounts that each amount will be paid after 40 45 days so how many days are remaining it requires a formula that is, is equal to 
these days and freeze it in order if we drag him down so the cell, no cell number will not change now what to do plus with the issue in state of this invoice and then what minus now formula and today's date now formula okay now formula break it close okay now it's it shows that this invoice is expired and nine days are also over drag him down in order to see how many days of other invoices are remaining this invoice also expired so this so if we want to <coughs> Uh, to 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 know that uh, the sin wise is expired so we should have give one text over here uh, what would be that text that it will be appear in this status to show the status that if it's expired or it's expired soon or like same like we have done over here so we're just putting one more formula is equal to what we're gonna do is uh, F function F function we say if this cell is greater than zero then show a text of invoice invoice paid oh, sorry 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 uh, expire soon expire soon one more uh, argument of F uh, the logic is if the same cell, the same cell we selected before H12, is uh, greater than 45. Uh, 45 is greater than this cell. 45 is greater than H12. Then show a text of uh, expired. And bracket. <laughs> So when when the days are passed, it will show expire. When the the days are remaining, sh let let's drag down. Yeah, it is saying expire soon. So just by dragging him down. And one thing more, <coughs> we have to do. Sorry. Like this, and she without format. Okay. Now we have to add one thing more in this cell that in order if if it's paid if if the credit amount the credit uh, cell sh uh, shows the amount uh, same as this one so there should not be in minus nine there's supposed to be something else that should be paid so what will we add in this formula we are just adding one thing more if function argument that we are saying that if this cell is equal to this cell okay what to do just show us uh, one text that says paid okay it, now it it says like this okay so we are dragging it down fill with that format okay now if it's not paid it will show nine days if it's paid it will show paid now what to do if this cell shows paid so this should not show and expire soon this should have so invoice paid what we have to put in this we have just given in this formula an f function f function <coughs> say that uh, if uh, this cell if this cell like we are saying that if uh, this cell H12 is equal to equal to what like equal to uh, paid like if this cell shows paid then say what say invoice sorry invoice paid see invoice paid <laughs> see what we have used the formula we use the formula if this cell shows paid so this shall uh, this cell also should also so uh, show the invoice paid drag him down 
fill without formatting. Now it's it's fine. Drag this also down. Fill without formatting. Now it's it's fine. Now when we are putting this like this, see, in white paid, in paid, it shows. Like if we do the same like there, it's changing the text. Now what we're gonna do is we have to make it uh, more visible for us so by using conditional formatting conditional formatting come to equal to just write paid over here paid it will find it in the entire column you selected entire area or you can do it by one cell and drag them down so we have selected the entire column that column uh, contains the text of our uh, days left come to custom format custom fill in fill in this one uh, text should be with fill in and come to the font and uh, bold in my case you can choose anything and uh, choosing the text white okay so it's fine now whenever it changes like we say this will change the text color and, and appears with the page so we need one more thing in the, this area and why is paid and expired in those things so again we we are selecting this column select all the column contain text is equal to what is our target and why is paid okay in why is paid sorry paid okay so in why is paid was our target same as we did with the previous one fill green font bold you can choose anything you want like this okay one more conditional formatting for expired so for expired that will be like uh, equal to okay just right here expired so expired okay custom fill in it will be like this bold white okay now for expire soon we have to choose one another in conditional formatting that is expiring uh, expired soon expired soon see expired soon so what we're gonna do is uh, sorry we have to change the text sorry sorry uh, expiring soon we have to give it expire soon and we are going to this that should be like that I have to change the text in the formula because I forget to write expiring soon I wrote it expired soon expiring soon is required okay we have did the condition of formatting but no worries uh, what we're gonna do is just uh, changing the text from here expiring soon enter see so we are going to drag him down see it changes okay it changes uh, like this and what we do is uh, this one and now it's fine so this was how we created this and why statement now just put this in wises now it is changing see when it's paid like this so if it's it's not paid it will be like that expire soon see so there is no amount okay so it will be just say nine nine days passed and in wise is expired but still it's not paid if you just put the amount it will show paid so this was our today's tutorial hope oh, you like it and please uh, subscribe like and press the bell icon hope uh, you will have a great time thank you so much bye bye